number part is not to catch it. It's culture. You see, because if you read Lee Kuan Yew, he says culture is destiny. So to yes. him, the Confucian culture of Chinese, Japanese is at the heart of thrift, hard work, rice paddies. That's what leads them to develop. Right. Now, we have a westernized educational system that you want to place on a, a, a people whose behavior may not necessarily be in line. So my, my point is, is, can our culture be the driver? I or would, we, are, we are studying I would say. liberal arts education and we are just saying, okay, by the way, you're African, so let's throw in a couple of proverbs, so that helps. <laughs> Versus saying no. culture is the driver of your, your, your progress. No, so I would say character mm. is destiny. Character. The character of a people determines their destiny. Lee Kuan Yew was leading in a multicultural society. It had Malaysians, it had Chinese, it had immigrants. And he borrowed from those different cultures and he also borrowed from what he had learned when he was in England. Okay. But really the fundamental thing is what is your character? Character is your destiny. If you have the character of being able to delay gratification, if you have the character of being able to look forward and consider the future consequences of your actions, then you behave differently today and your, your destiny will be different because you looked forward. But what determines character? Character is determined by uh, things that happen in your home, how you were brought up. Character is determined by what happens in the schools that you went to. Character is determined by what you learn in church or whatever your spirituality is. There are many different components that go into forming a person's character. But mostly, character is formed from your daily actions and the habits that you develop. So whatever your, your habits are, become your character. When you have a habit of bribing people, that is your character. When you have a habit of, of demanding bribes from people, that is your character. If you have a habit of telling the truth versus telling, the, telling lies, that is your character. But something determines that. The habit is formed by different things. The education, yes. the environment, and what people have been made to believe, their history. That's correct. And, and I cannot control how somebody was brought up at home. But I can influence how they're educated in the institution that I run. And so I have to focus on that. If a university professor tells you or a vice chancellor tells you that, look, the behaviors we're seeing are a reflection of society. This is how people are brought up at home. This is how, what they learned in church. That is not a good enough excuse because they have an influence in their classrooms and on their campus. And you need to focus within your sphere of influence what you can do. And if everybody focuses within their sphere of influence what they can do, then you can change the character of a nation or the culture of a people.